Okay, this is a classic hit here. Watch that. Look at that. Computer went into sleep mode. This is uh, 922 hertz. This is real time. First proof that using the Macintosh computer it is the correct scale. He's kind of a small guy. He's disintegrating in a very interesting way. Very unusual. This is proof that using my programs called RB Square Gen can actually be used to cause this effect. Fantastic. This is a very important proof because now people will be able to use this program for free all over the world. I'm going to watch it just for a few more seconds. We ran two frequencies, 922 hertz and 10,164 hertz. Here's the end of a classic devitalization. That's probably part of them up there. And the other remnants down here. We just missed it. It has all the classic signs. All the spheres, and then now they've broken. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is real time. 924 hertz. Using the Macintosh computer. Check the scale is correct. There it goes. Dramatic, dramatic devitalization. We're going to just watch and see what happens. That's 924 hertz. about in the middle of the slide. I've been experimenting with moving the plasma light around a little bit. It's in the this is clearly the remains of that effect. Maybe I showed you that earlier, but I noticed that down below we have again right about here. That's clearly an organism, or was an organism. We had at least three major hits, slowly changing the frequency from 922 to 924. We've got one live. Just a stick right there. There it is. It was swimming and literally dissolved while it was swimming. seems to be very frequency specific for specific sized organisms. He caught me a little off guard. He was so fast. Let's watch him. He's going to do a change. This is a classic. We have 100 watts, just a little over 100 watts. 110. 1.3 SWR, frequency 922 hertz. Let's keep an eye on this guy. Where is he? He's on my far right of the slide. Do I dare take a chance zooming in on him? 
He's got the classic look of somebody who's going to explode. Let's take a chance. We'll go up to 10x. There. I don't know. Try to keep him centered. The scale is not correct because I'm busy chasing him. Let's correct the scale here. There it is, correct scale. He is not swimming. Let's keep a close eye on him. Today is July 7th, 2007. Well, the computer crashed, so we missed the whole thing. This is what's left of him. And uh, there's the actual scale. I know it's hard to believe because you didn't get to see it. Uh, we may see continued degradation. I'm over 100 watts now. 1.35 uh, SWR. Seems like getting over 100 watts is critical. We might have a blister forming here. Here we go. He just broke his membrane, I think, on top or something because now he's emptying out. So, sorry you missed the whole transformation. By the way, that's only part of them, those two spheres. If I go a little bit over here, this is the other part of them. And look, this part retained the cilia, just like yesterday's lab activities. Uh, July 6th, let me move that scale out of the way, a portion of the organism which normally has the cilia resealed itself, there it is, and actually still has some kind of motive power here. But it's hard to believe because you didn't see the transformation, so we'll have to make a new slide. And we'll also look for other organisms on this slide. It's rotating. One hundred twenty six hertz. Now I've jumped to, this is an organism who was affected by running frequency programs on my Macintosh computer. It's very obvious he was affected. This is the first time I've seen an organism affected running the Macintosh computer program I'm using a program I wrote called RB Square Gen stands for Rife Bear Square Generator and you run two copies of the program, in other words two instances of the program simultaneously. One, uh, they put out square waves, one is set to 10,164 which happens to be 11 times 924 and the other <coughs> is uh, starts at around 922 and you work up from there. Now, right now the plasma wave is off and uh, let's turn it back on and see if we can't affect this organism a little bit more. I don't know if it's possible. Here we go. Lighting the plasma. And it's good to have the 100 watts. There's about 100 watts, 1.2. That's very good. Using the Macintosh computer, you get very stable MFJ antenna tuner readings. So 
We'll run some frequencies and we'll see if it makes any difference in this organism. I'm changing the focus just a little bit to see what we have. Now, I don't know if that's an entire organ. That actually looks like a piece of an organism that already broke off from somebody else. He looks fragmented to me, like those uh, other guys who fragment from a larger organism. Now, that's not a complete organism. That's another fragment.